Okay, our next uh, scrap throw together project. Uh, first you're going to need one old uh, Fisher & Paykel Smart Drive washing machine found on the side of the road, just a throw out day. Um, we've taken the drum out of it and we've cut the base off that has the bearing housing. What we're going to do next is on this one there's a nice already marked circle on there and we're going to cut that out so as we have our bearing holder and that will give us these plastic spokes as well which should make it strong enough to mount the system on of course also in there is your uh, stator your rotor full of magnets and a nice stainless steel shaft all splined ready to go so the next thing we have to go through and do of course like I said cut this part out. I'm going to mount that on a test board and see exactly what kind of voltages at what RPMs we can get from the motor itself or from our stator. Now this is what is called an 80 series. Um, they had four series so far. The 100 series, 80 series, 60 series and I believe it was the 50 series. Now the way you can tell is the 100 series the wire will be 1 mil, the 80 series the wire is 0.8 mil, 60 series the wire is 0.6 mil and of course the 40 series will be 0.4 mil wire. Now the 100 series being the thicker wire ran on a lower voltage 12 volts I believe, the 80 series was 36 to 42 volts I think. So the 80 series is probably going to do uh, what we want and um, this setup here we're actually going to be doing something a little different it's going to be a generator it's not going to be a wind generator it's not going to be a water generator it's going to be a gravity generator just so I can uh, light my steps on the way down to the shed that's in complete darkness don't know if it's going to work but we always got to post the good with the bad and uh, that'll be a fun project anyway so on with the next step and we'll come back and see how we went Going on, Jack. Oh well, after uh, half an hour or so, we managed to get the center out, and um, it feels pretty solid. So, some big washes down in between each of those veins on some bolts should hold it quite steady for us. Actually, had to um, cut it by hand with a hacksaw blade each finger because we couldn't get the grinder to go down in there deep enough. Managed to get a little bit with the grinder but the rest we had to do by hand. And now we have a sore hand. Um, so yeah, next we'll go and mount it up on a board, put it all back together, run some wires off of the stator, spin it up and uh, see what sort of voltages we can get from it. So we'll uh, go and do that now. Okay, so we've um gone and drilled a hole straight through the bench with a hole saw so we can stick the shaft through both the uh, stator carrier to the bench the stator of course is under the rotor bolted back to the stator carrier and our rotor is on as you can see turning nicely and um, I guess for a wind, wind generator the um, cogging's really not too bad the 40 series they make is a cogless version which will be the later model of these motors uh, which will be the best for a wind generator but uh, once this gets going it's fairly easy to turn all I'm doing here is I'm simply running off of one set of coils one coil set or one phase of the three phase setup and of course we have our blue going to the common and a brown wire to one phase going through a bridge rectifier small smoothing cap we're then going through this amp meter into a 12 volt battery our battery is 12.21 at the moment so what this will tell us is how fast this has to turn to start charging this battery and as I found out not very fast at all. I think about uh, 
maybe doing about um, 30 reps a minute there. And although I can't keep it very stable with my fingers rotating it, you can see that we're pulling 50 plus milliamps, no problem at all. And our battery is going up in voltage. So, uh, definitely good at generating at low RPM and that is only off one phase. So if I crank the speed up a bit you can see we get um, 2 to 300 milliamps just at that speed there. So um, no problem at all with speed and um, really doesn't take that much to uh, put over 100 milliamps of charge into that battery at that battery voltage. What we're going to do now is hook up one of these LEDs and the flashing you were seeing was just the LED running off that cap. The cap is only well, it's a 2200 microfarad cap um, so not that large but this is one of the lights I want to run out there and um, as we can see no problem at all and that's very lightly turning it it's, um, needs a bigger cap to smooth out the uh, pulsing a bit but any faster than that I think it'd probably blow. It's full brightness there. It's probably a bit more than full brightness. So no problem at all in generating our power for our setup. Um, we are going to need decent size weight to drive this to get any real run time out of it but um, I think it might work what we have to do now is go through the scrap pile and find some sort of gearbox to uh, gear this thing up so um, I'll post this video first um, as the beginning video for the project and uh, and we'll be hunting a gearbox and see what we can find. Cheers guys.